ship sailed hours ago. To Gothenburg, yes. Tony Grant? Well, of course he's on board. He works for us. Well, just a minute. We could get a message to him. Yes. Mr. Collier Brown. You'll be told when the ship docks. Goodbye. Everything goes smoothly? You were miss. Was I? She queried why you weren't here when they were in dock. Miss Laker. Especially with Charles going back today. It was his request. She thought it was too soon. Were you avoiding her? Why? Hmm. Why? The dentist. My wisdom to. You've got one? What's this? An early birthday present. Open it. And what are these? Well, you, uh, you put them in the palm of your hand like that, and you roll them together. So that way we know when to mutiny. Humphrey Bogart. The Kane mutiny. Remember? Oh, yes, yes. Very funny, Miss Lurker. Most amusing. What exactly are you trying to say? That your behavior is upsetting the crew. Really? You've shut yourself away. You've cut yourself off from us. That's right. I prefer my own company to yours or anybody else's. Why the hell should I socialize if I don't want to? I'm not talking about socializing. Now what the hell are you talking about? The fact that I choose not to join in the happy times on board this ship? The fact that you're behaving like a spoiled child. If you are referring to my... Uh, whiskey dinner the other night. I can assure you that that was a one-off and will not be happening again. Now, uh, do go on. Your wife has left you. Are we to blame? Who the hell do you think you are? Someone who's trying to help. The day I need your help, I'll ask for it. Not you. I don't give a damn about helping you, Captain. I'm talking about your children. You checked the summer brochure proofs, did you? Yep. I'll see you to that. No, 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 it's all right. You run along home, it's fine. I well, don't see why an Amsterdam marketing manager should get a perk like that. To keep him. It's only a two-litre job, all in accordance with regulations. And then why did you need her signature as well as the MD's? That, in her opinion, he is worth keeping, that's all. Since when has her opinion been of interest to you? You've probably just given her ideas. About what? That, in her opinion, a perk would be worth it to keep her. Crew don't qualify for company cars, not even Miss Laker. She qualifies for a ship, I suppose. If you don't like what I'm saying, call my father. He's looking for anything he can find to get rid of me and insubordination serious enough, wouldn't you think? I don't need your father to put you in your place. Right, then I'll continue. Now, just a minute. What gives you the right to come in here and start criticizing me if you're offended? Too bloody bad, I make no apologies. It offends your children. What? They're involved as well. You owe it to them as their father to behave responsibly. I owe it to my family? Yes. What family? That's my family, thanks to you, women. Well, if it, if it helps you to feel that way... Yes, it does help. By God, it does. Good. But there is one problem. Really? Look, I can understand why you're behaving like this. But other people might draw the wrong conclusions. Have you finished? Yes. Well, I haven't. I'd like to know the reason for your sudden concern, Miss Laker. You don't strike me as the sort of woman who cares what other people think, about yourself or anybody else. Yes, but then I don't have children who can be hurt by what other people think. Miss Miller. I wouldn't know what to say to him. Oh, yeah. I didn't know he was back. Nor did I. Seems okay, but 
What do you say to somebody whose wife's just died? We've got to replace the flexible coupling between number three and the reduction gear. That means we've got to close down three and four. Well, half an hour be enough. Isn't that up to John? Hello, Charlie. How are you, mate? Things seem to have changed during my absence. Well, no doubt you'll put us all in order. I'm talking about areas of responsibility. Has John opted out? Half an hour, I think. plan on relaxing. If I needed a drink, I wouldn't have to go far. Not far at all. But, Mum, I couldn't make it to see you in Felixstowe. What? When? But, Mum, I'm in the middle of the North Sea. How should I know? Look, it's not Busby making this call. It's a seagull, and he don't want to make nobody happy. He costs. Yeah, all right, yeah. So long. Bye. Clark, you think he was two years old? Who? Oh. Your brother. He was left home. Left mum with her knickers in a twist. Funny, isn't it? Parents can get up and walk it out at any time. It's called divorce. They've even got a certificate to prove it. But kids, if kids walk out, well, then they're delinquents. Let me stay in your arms. I'm addicted to your charms. You're getting to be a habit with me. I used to think our love was something that I could take or leave alone But now I can't do without my supply Basement, ladies and gentlemen, shroud, coffins, gravestones Thieving again? Body snatching, this is the embalming ointment You can't kid all of the people all of the time, you know, Linda mm, Can't I? Thanks. It's just what I needed. Cheers. Cheers. What's that? I'm not sure. Bougon Quai, he says. He would. Watch it. I will. Besides, so. I was wondering if everything was okay with you and Tony now. Who? Obviously it is. How about you? Me and who? Everybody. I just never looked down, Joe. Sometimes I wish I'd never looked up. It all seemed so glamorous then. What, life at sea? Under the spotlight. I thought the world was my oyster at 17. I guess I just didn't realize it was going to end up in working men's clubs in Huddersfield and this. We're all the same at 17. What did you want? Everything I couldn't have. Well, I can't have left a lot. Well, I never got it, though. Anyway, we were talking about you, your dreams. I made it once. Topped the charts for a week. I guess that's the problem. Just one taste of success and you keep plugging along, regardless of the price. What price? You know what my mother used to say? You just go up to the stage door and knock. I wrapped my knuckles raw. What price? A husband. Children, a happy family life. They don't always go hand in hand. No. But now it's too late, I realize that's what I wanted after all. It's one thing about dying on stage. You face up to the fact that no one asked you to go out there. Well, I'm facing up to that audience with no one to call my own. I know what you mean. Do you? Why do you think I never look down? In case you see what you really want. I'm damn sure it's there. If you need anything else, sir, just call. Hello, love, you all right? Have you been in there with a passenger? He's gorgeous. Didn't you reckon I was capable of pulling a good one? There's no need to look the part. This isn't a tramp steamer. Oh, I don't think that was called for, mate. Mr Woodhouse. It's no good taking it out on me or anybody else for that matter. No good at all. I think I know what it's like for you, sir, but it's no good feeding off the hurt. The next time I see you, I'll expect you to be tidy. That's nice. 
thanks. From you, I can believe it. I've got a feeling you're next on the list now he's lost me. Watch him. Tony? Even pet rabbits turn ugly when they're cornered. I've never found him particularly cuddly. <laughs> if ever you want to talk, you know where to find me. Everything's okay. Sandy? That's what she wants. And there's no need to say any more, I guess. Would you like a drink, Joe? Oh, no, thanks. This lady's off to have a sauna. It's the only way left of getting hot before bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, how goes it? Fine. Anything new? No. I thought Kelly was on. I sent him off. Leave you to it, then. It's still there. Yes, sir. What you came for? Don't worry, I'll keep it confidential. What are you trying to tell me, Charles? Well, there had to be some explanation. You kept yourself to yourself from what I've heard. Don't blame you. But it'll stay between us. I'll have that, please. Of course. I'll also have the names of every officer and lookout who's been on watch up here over the last two days. What for? You really need to ask. Maybe. Do you know what these mean? Then you should also know what I have to do now. I am responsible for the safety of this ship and everybody on board. And that responsibility begins with ensuring that every member of this crew is capable of carrying out his duties 24 hours a day. There is no margin for error in an emergency. I will, of course, need your assistance in carrying out these inquiries. I hardly think you need it. But well, you found it. You're prepared to stick with that, are you? Yes. You're playing with dynamite, Charles. It's a nasty way of backfiring. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Especially in your position. Perhaps you'd like to think again about where you found this. I'm sure I don't need to spell out the reason why. To protect who, Captain Anderson? I think you know the answer to that better than me. What do you make of him? Charles? He's like a different person. He is. He's a widower. Yeah? I'm on my way. Tool it now. Well, I'm paid for it. Do you need a hand? Got your time down here. Got your stripes. It's my job. Joe, if there's something you're trying to say, why don't you spit it out? Right. It works both ways if you want to keep your own rules white. Get me? Yeah, I reckon so. You keep off my back. Don't touch me. What's got into you, Susan? I just want to talk to you. Them. You can't fool me. I know they're after me. They sent you. Who the hell are you talking about? Them. They're telling me to jump. I must jump! Susan! Susan! Come on! Come on. Come on. Just calm down, eh? Just calm down. Put yourself together, eh? That's better. You've got to trust me.
can't swim. Can you? In the right company. Yes. Oh, hello, Joe. Where is she now? Right. I'll check it straight away. By the way, in this particular swimming pool, there are no telephones. Just you and me and H2O. Unsalted. And very warm. Good evening, Captain. Evening. I think you should tell me what happened, Susan. Nothing. You make a habit of behaving like that, then? You needed a fright. You won't tell me to jump again. Who, Tony? Can I trust you? Well, I don't know. I have to do everything that's right for this ship, I mean. Yes, of course. Look, can we get back to why I'm here? Joe said you were hysterical. Crazy. I didn't say that. That's what you think, though. No. He did. He really did. Well, I was a long time ago. You were what? Can I trust you? To tell them. It's in the interest of this ship. Tell who? Tell them what? Arthur Parker. I want you to tell Arthur Parker the truth about my past. I was ill once. A mental breakdown. And I want you to tell Arthur Parker. It's in the interest of the ship. And you. It's a long story if you've got the time. You want to tell me about it? Something nobody else knows you want to tell me? The skeleton in my cupboard. Who's rattling it? Me. But I need you to tell Arthur Parker. <laughs> Minding after all these years. He is. Everything okay, John? Yes, John. Matt's finally made it then. What? Miss Laker. Start at 20. Yeah, I remember to say there's more of them each time. It's like the M1 with skateboarders on it. You sent for me? Yeah. I can read. So can I. Mr. Collier Brown. Quite a name to conjure with. Well, don't keep him waiting. You might have paid off Granger, but this one's come all the way from London to see you. Mr. Collier Brown, don't forget. You ready, Peter? For anything. Sure, you can handle the boat. Easy. The best. You watch it, Linda. He's mine. I can take him off you. Oh, no, you
I asked you to bring the children. Yes. Well, where are they? There they should be. At home. Their home is in England, Maya. Oh, no, no. That's where they were born and that's where they belong. Not since the 1st of July, 1979. You really should keep up with the policies of my country. What are you talking about? On that particular date, every child born of a Swedish mother automatically becomes a Swedish citizen. They are where they belong. I like being spied on. Everything that had to be said was said on the ship. I don't give a damn about the ship. George is my concern, that's why I'm here. Sorry I broke up your party. I don't apologize, Marion. I was much concerned for my father as he showed for my daughter. I've lived with George's guilt for too long. Your daughter's death nearly destroyed him. Her name was Emma. Emma. We were in Switzerland at the time. Believe me, Kate, we didn't know. George never allows business to interfere with the very few days we can be alone together. That man in London was stupid. Didn't use his head. He didn't dare. It wasn't money. I don't care about your days together. Emma died during your days together. George fired the man. All right, it means nothing, I know. And he knew. That's why he couldn't come to you. What could he do? And so, your conscience is a clean. What can they do? You didn't come here to talk about my father's conscience, Marion. You're wasting my time. What exactly do you want? To know what you want. I didn't tell him. You can follow me all the way across the North Sea. The answer will still be the same. I love him, and I don't like what you're doing to him. The pressures are beginning to show. Good. I thought I could call you off somehow. But I'll look after what's mine. George is mine. And Emma was mine. How long are you going to make him pay for one mistake? A lifetime? Yes. All right. You're not fighting my man any longer. You're fighting me.